Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell icon so you know when the videos drop. And we've been way more consistent as of late. And we're going to keep being consistent. Shout out to all the new subscribers. And shout out to all my day one people. Y'all know who y'all are. Now, let's get into this Deontay Wilder, Vladimir Klitschko situation. Apparently, Deontay Wilder is eyeing a fight with Vladimir Klitschko if he's successful against Dominic Brazil. Now, I assume Deontay Wilder is going to be victorious against Dominic Brazil because he has some sort of cheat code to take Dominic Brazil's soul from his body by way of right hand. Now, the part that I don't understand is why he would want to fight a guy who hasn't been in the ring since 2017 and who's coming off of two losses, you know. Uh, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua respectively and I'm not sure why Vladimir Klitschko would take this fight at his age at his current condition and current level of inactivity but I guess if if we really think about it this is Deontay Wilder's style right he'll take a guy who's been out the ring eating all types of bad foods and shit and he gets him in a ring thinking oh it's gonna be a cakewalk and then you know he gets a draw but really it takes an L but that's another story now, Vladimir Klitschko has been eyeing a return. And, you know, I, I got to give a uh, shout out to Reg by McGregor because I believe he was the first person who um, released this out in, on, on YouTube, at least. That's the first time I saw it. And then everyone else follows suit today. So I'm following suit as well, too. Shit. You know, I, I get tired of making these Deontay Wilder videos. But every time I look up, it's some dumbass news like this. Windmill cherry picking an old man again. Now... Before, Anthony Joshua decided to take on Vladimir Klitschko after he lost to Anthony Joshua. And if I recall, the certain hate group was bashing that fight. And it ended up being a very good fight. In fact, that was the best version of Vladimir Klitschko that we had seen in years. So AJ, you know... He won that fight, and he deserved to get all the credit for winning that fight. Just like I tried to give Deontay Wilder credit for beating an over-the-hill, on-blood-pressure medication, uh, drained Luis Ortiz. You know? I, I gave him credit for that, but, you know, we, we can't have it both ways, right? You can't not give AJ credit for Klitschko and then give Wilder credit for stopping a guy with all these health problems, right? So... We'll start at a clean slate. Both of these guys get credit for their respective fights. Anthony Joshua gets credit for Vladimir Klitschko. Deontay Wilder gets credit for Luis Ortiz. Now, if Deontay Wilder fights Vlad Vladimir Klitschko, after he fights Dominic Brazil, he gets zero credit from Hitman Boxing. Zero. And if the LDBC want to start talking reckless and crazy like this is a good fight, they're hypocrites. They're all hypocrites, man. Like... How does this man, you know, we, we, we're done talking about this money situation because everybody out there knows it's ridiculous, absurd that this guy didn't want to take $120 million for three fights when he's getting paid a, a mil, a buck 50 mil, you know, a buck, 1.5 million to fight Dominic Brazil. And then you're going to fight Vladimir Klitschko. How is that a championship fight? He's got two losses. He's coming off two losses. He ain't fought since 2017. He got dumped by his wife. His mind is not in boxing right now. You know, Vladimir Klitschko, future Hall of Famer. Right now, I mean, he's got to be pushing 43-44, son. I mean, Luis Ortiz is older than him, but shit. Come on. They know, I mean, look, Deontay Wilder, he's already fucked himself by not taking on the Anthony Joshua fight, by ducking that fight, okay? We get that he's ducked that fight, but he's really running out of options at this point. He's running out of options. I mean, after Dominic Brazil, who, who else is there for him to fight? You know, you got tricked by Tyson Fury. He tricked the shit out your ass. And now he's over at top rank making money. AJ about to fight Jarrell Miller. You motherfuckers both need each other, to be honest. Y'all both need each other. There ain't nobody for y'all to fight. Yeah, and y'all basically just waiting until Daniel Dubois get a few more fights. 
And then it's lights out for both of you motherfuckers, to be honest. And then you got the African motherfucker. Forgot that dude's name. You know, he coming up in the ranks. Motherfuckers, there's some there's some heat coming up in the heavyweight division now. There's some there's some young motherfuckers coming up. So y'all better get this shit sorted out soon. AJ and Deontay Wilder, respectively. All right? Y'all need to get this shit out the way. Because the young boys is coming for y'all, y'all fucking belts. All right? They're coming for y'all belts. Now, Deontay Wilder, you know, he says he wants the freedom of fighting on Showtime. But, you know, your handler, Shelly Winkle, Shelly Fetus, Skeleton, man, this dude ugly as shit. I don't give a fuck. Shelly Finkel is a fucked up looking individual, all right? He was, he's not fully developed. He needs to go back in the womb. Now, Dante Wilder, you know, windmill, he got a lot of he got a lot of decisions to make soon, man. Cause your boy, bronze bomber Wilder, you know, you bronze meddler. Shit, would he be the gold bomber? No, nah, that shit don't even sound right. Cause the motherfucker can't box. How you not learn how to box in 40 fights? What's up with that? How you not learn how to box in 40 fights, bro? Man, you're going to knock out Donnie Brazil, and then, <laughs> I swear to God, if you fight Vladimir Klitschko, I'm fucking done with boxing. I swear to God, I'm done with wa- watching boxing if fucking Vladimir Klitschko comes out of retirement. It's been two years since he's been in the ring. Two years and two losses. And his ass coming to the ring with that Just For Men fucking uh, hairstyle. Covering up that salt and pepper because he gray as shit with that S. Oliver bullshit. He be, man, fuck it. We ain't, we just, we just gonna make fun of these motherfuckers right now. Vladimir Klitschko old as shit. Deontay Wilder can't fucking box and he's not popular at all. All right? Just because motherfuckers looking you up on the internet don't mean you popping like that. Motherfuckers just trying to figure out who the fuck you is. They don't know who the fuck you are. All right, Dante? They don't know who you are. And somebody said on my comments, well, shit. Deontay Wilder must be the most popular fighter if, if ESPN is saying he is. Man, shut the fuck up. I'm done with this shit. Hit man boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. Hit that bell icon, I'm out. About the 37th chamber, sold two dots, kill a beat, new generation. I'm killing niggas with no hesitations. Real hell raising, killing them softly because it builds patience. What's up with niggas and they fucking favorites? Swear to God, man, but I'ma just stop before they say I'm hating. Anyway, this be that chill wave. Each and every day, nigga, it's a lifestyle over this way. Along with getting blazed, talking to some slimmies. Sophisticated conversations while drinking some Henny or maybe some Irish whiskey. If they want to get down, let's smoke a pound. Smoke ring, show us skills with a mouth. I'm on a different type of level than niggas getting they shine. All about that rah-rah. I'm here to captivate the minds, turning niggas into zombie fans. A cult following that knows I get it bopping. Just call me the showstopper, man. I'm Midwest till the fucking end. Subtracting bitch-ass niggas from my my life to get these dividends i'm dope hype fresh there's no contest follow your feather but it's never lifting you was the best i got these ferrari dreams with the top down nigga glowing tree cruising through the fucking south side nigga lots of hype beats strolling through my timeline nigga i just leave them where they at and focus on these figures i be the old mr grump really just don't give a fuck about these niggas feelings in my opinion they fucking suck yeah and if they want it they can see me bro i'm riding solo everywhere consider that a fucking dead these niggas scared of competition these days fuck a car to pull your page so you better behave i'm an angry nigga shake me watch me fucking explode like a champagne bottle that just dropped on the flow it's a whole lot of niggas that can't fuck with my torch a bunch of pussies they ain't never stepped a foot off they porch i'm on a genocide mission to exterminate these fucking fakes walking with this proton pack blowing my cares away i ain't finished yet serious like korea threats throwing out these slurs every minute like i got Tourette's Fuck shit, bitch, and some other adjectives Make it all rhyme, I had you bopping, asking who is this? It's Soul Two Dots, raising the flag for hip-hop The 
fifth element, secret weapon, I'll be a sure shot. Spitting all these lyrics like it's fucking ammunition on a 40 cal. Seeking destroying these motherfuckers out.